So social comparison work raises the question of how we can deal with the fact that reference points are messing with our happiness, how we can deal with the fact that we automatically make these social comparisons. And now, yet again, amazingly, we have our psych pro tips back. Yay, as excited as we are about those. And so psych pro tip number one for dealing with reference points is that it's helpful to try to find slightly more accurate reference points. Um, and we see the culture kind of moving towards this. Like a few years ago, there was a real push to kind of move away from campaigns of female models that look like this, this is a Victoria's Secret models, to something more that look like this. Dove announced their kind of real beauty campaign where you had like actual bodies as opposed to supermodel bodies kind of advertising stuff. But I think even if, when companies aren't doing this on their own, because often they don't, it's possible for us to take some action towards this by what I might call hacking your feed, right? Like you control what's gonna be in your Instagram feed. You can kind of control the direction that some of your TikTok algorithms are going by what you choose to to look at. And if you choose to look at diverse bodies, diverse salaries, diverse people who are getting certain grades, et cetera, et cetera, you can try to make your feed have reference points that aren't going to be so unrealistic, that aren't going to make you feel so sad. And so hacking your feed to kind of see stuff that's more reasonable helps you out a lot. Because again, whatever's in that feed is going to be a reference point that comes in. Another way you can avoid reference points is to try to think about the amount of screen time you're engaging in. You know, a lot of the comparisons we get aren't the people at our school or people that we see in our day-to-day -day life, they're people that we're seeing on the internet, these anonymous strangers who are making us feel bad about ourselves. And you can avoid that by just being on screens less often. Um, in our last video, we saw that just the amount of TV watching you do is causing you to underestimate your own wealth and overestimate the wealth of the average person. And I didn't mention this other finding before, but that has real world consequences. In fact, Shore found that for each extra hour of television you watch, you wind up spending an extra four bucks every week in your household spending. So you're kind of keep up with the Joneses in this interesting way. And that's just television. I think everything is even worse when we go on social media. Like they're just like rampant reference points that make us feel bad about ourselves. And we end up comparing ourselves when we don't need to. Um, and for that, we have another good dinosaur comic. Dinosaur says, social media makes me feel bad about myself. And so dinosaur therapist says, is there any strategies you have for dealing with that? Dinosaur says, well, I just, spend more time on social media when I feel bad about myself, right? And I think so many of us do this, but you have control. You could stop doing that and avoid these kinds of comparisons that come with that stuff.